Right now, the world's productive power is controlled by a few giant corporations. Their products are expensive, their designs are secret, and to make things worse, we're now seeing these same companies engineer their products to fail over time, simply to increase profits. I saw this problem, and I thought we have all the tools available to make this machinery for ourselves, and with the internet, we can distribute our designs for next to nothing. So I bought some land and started building. From our location in Missouri, we're developing low-cost modular tools that anyone can build and we're sharing our designs on the internet free of charge. People who need equipment are typically ones who can least afford it. The applications are anything from third world development to a dying farming community to standard economic enterprise. The point is that we make equipment available to everyone who needs it. Open Source Ecology is a project that's in practice we're working on the Global Village construction set, which is a set of the 50 industrial machines that it takes to build a small civilization with modern comforts. It's everything that you need to provide your energy, food, housing, and other technologies. Very little true collaboration really happens. You know, you have the patent system, it's like, I'm going to pounce you if, you if you're going to try to learn from me and do better than I, I did. The beautiful thing about the open source development method is that you produce the plans, you, you give a lot to the community, and then st stuff starts coming back. And then the products get better and better, everybody wins. Other day I get an email, <laughs> someone who's built the compressed earth brick press. Wow, hey, that looks exactly like mine. I forget exactly how I ran into open source ecology, but I think I was destined to, to find it just from my interest in natural building and open source. Uh, it just seemed to make sense to use this machine here for, uh, for building our house. So when I saw the designs, looking at how I was going to build it, um, I noticed that some of the code could use improving and the board that does the controlling could also use some improving. Because there's actually quite a few people who would have never thought that they could build a house. Uh, and by kind of like showing them, hey look, like I've never built a house before, I've never done hydraulics before, but it seems to be working. A lot of times we think this kind of work is impossible to build your own living environment. For me it's been the most transformative experience. I've, I've learned that I can do it and I want to show that to others. What if everybody were to join together to make the best products, most robust products that are open source that anyone has access to producing them and therefore we can run an economy in a collaborative way as opposed to a competitive wasteful way. We can build this kind of stuff. It's this mythology of incompetence or, or power control that got us to think that we can do things for ourselves, but we have the power. So I would inspire people to go out and build yourself.